everybody in this video i'll be sharing part three of what i did on a day out part two is now showing on the channel which documents the river cruise and how i got to the what i'm going to tell you about so in this video i'll be showing you what i did after i got off the boat at the university of greenwich this is westminster in this area you can do a river cruise it is a very famous destination for the tourists to the uk okay so sit back relax and i'm going to take you through what i did after i got off the boat itself so if you're interested in knowing what i did like on the boat listen to the commentary then refer to the um a video that i have on this channel and it is entitled a river cruise london river cruise or something like that this is the famous london eye that you're looking on okay sit back relax and see what i got up to when i got off the boat get on a city cruise boat you can either purchase your ticket online or you can purchase it at the at one of the pairs so this is the westminster pair and i'm making my way down to the universe to greenwich so you can get off either at tower hill or greenwich and today i'm making my way down to greenwich so that i can tell you a bit about what happens in that vicinity the things that you can do as a tourist or even you don't even have to be a tourist you just want to enjoy yourself want to know more about the country itself make your way take a city cruise on a boat come with me yeah the boat ride took approximately 50 minutes and then i arrive in greenwich so i'm about to make my way over to the university of greenwich where i will be able to tell you more about this university as a matter of fact, in the distance, the lovely historical buildings that you are seeing over across the water is the University of Greenwich. So for me, being on the grounds of the University of Greenwich has brought back a lot of memories for me. For one, this is my old university. As a matter of fact, the teaching um, qualification that I did here in the UK, I did it at this university. My master's degree, I actually did it here as well. So a lot of the things that have gone on to accomplish as well, it all started here. So I would definitely recommend this university. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk you through some of the things that I know about the university, talk about my time here as well. So a lot of people, perhaps, is not aware of it that here at the University of Greenwich a lot of famous movies are actually filmed here so just to name a few Pirates of the Caribbean let me see if I can remember them Pirates of the Caribbean James Bond was also filmed here that sky falling one was also filmed here as well let me see which one Pirate, did I say Pirates of the Caribbean yes that one was filmed here as well so there are some famous movies just google it and you will realize that you know some of the movies whenever they want a bit of history to be attached to it because i'm going to take you around look at the building itself and you'll understand why you know people would want to come here to film certain movies so let me fix this around so let me give you a little can you see it i hope that you can see it let's see oh that's much better so if you look around that's what is there as a matter of fact i can recall from my time being here as well i used to come around this side very regularly so you see where you're seeing the river i used to come around here a lot needless to say that yes i used to get sick and i'm going to take you to exactly where i used to be sitting right 
So, come around to this side. Let me show you, let me show you. Music playing. That's what we were accustomed to hearing as well. But right here. I used to be sitting right here. And I would be sitting here simply because I would be able to see like the um I would be able to see like the, the, the cruise boats and stuff. So while I was having like my lunch and everything like that, I would be sitting around this side. And I used to leave, I used to get a cold regularly because you know all of that, the, the river, you know, water and stuff, all of the river breeze, I used to take it in and I would get sickly. But because I I like nature, so I like to be able to look out. So that was my view. And of course you can't blame me as well for wanting to enjoy all of that. So just to say that yes, that's what I was about. Ah, you hear the music? Ah, bang, bang, banging, 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 right? But that, it doesn't stop anything. Because if you notice the music department, they have taken it. It's like almost at the back of the university. So when you're elsewhere, it doesn't distract or anything like that. And I'm just showing you around. In the far distance, what you're seeing, that is like the Cotisark. So yes, that's it. That's what it is about. Let me see if I can, how much I remember as well. I know that not too far from here, there is the Maritime uh, um, Museum as well. But if you look around, the grounds of the university is well kept. At this time of the year, well, today is, it's not, you know, what would I say? It is not cold, but the sunshine has disappeared just for a minute. But I know that the sunshine will be out again. So what were we accustomed to? If you see like on the lawn, we were allowed to sit on it. Have, have you know, you know, when you're at university, you need to be doing like teamwork and everything like that. So when we have like team meetings and stuff, whenever it's lunchtime, so let me do a little twirl. Whenever it's like lunchtime, that's the time when everybody would try to meet up. And it is spacious as well. So, you know, it's not like we would be disturbing each other. From my recollections out there, that's like the main gate out there. That's what I recall. Right here now, up here where I'm going, that's where I was accustomed to see like the trailers. So if a movie, if, um, if a movie was being filmed here, this is where I'm accustomed to seeing the trailer. So of course, you know, a lot of memories. I actually enjoyed my time here at the university. I would definitely recommend this university as well. And I recommend it because of what I know about the teachers, right? They're very helpful. And that is what you want when you actually come to a country that you don't know much about. You want for the teachers to be patient. You want for the teachers to actually take the time out to understand, you know, empath empathize a bit with your situation. And that's what I have found the teachers to be, not just the teachers, everybody, I should say, is like they take the time out to listen to you where possible they help as well obviously they would not be able to help with every situation it all depends on you know what your situation is but i am happy i have no regrets about coming to the university of greenwich and i always admire like the building look at it <coughs> i don't know i don't think i'm doing to doing it justice right but i can say that you can look at the building you can see that it's like old buildings right but i can tell you that coming to this university was one of the best decisions that i made and i would encourage people you know come to this university because they have a lot to offer it's more than just teaching you get teaching but there is also a human side to it and that's what we all want in our lives.
nobody can deny that the University of Greenwich building is such a beauty. In its vicinity as well, you have the Maritime Museum. There is also the Cottesark. Now, the Cottesark is that fame, and you can see that famous ship that is there. The Cottesark is the celebrated historic sailing ship and the fastest of its time. Cottesark is a, is a British clipper ship. It was built on the river Levum, Scotland in 1869 for the Jock Willis shipping line. She was one of the last tea clippers to be built and one of the fastest. In this vicinity as well, the tourist attraction in, the, uh, in this vicinity of the Cotisar, you can find a number of different restaurants. So people normally come in this area to, you know, after leaving the river cruise, you can experience, you can taste, you, you can wet your taste buds because there are a lot of different, different restaurants offering food to suit everybody's palate. So this is what I got up to in the vicinity of the Great of Greenwich. If you are ever in this area, if you want to take in a cruise, I would definitely suggest that you come to this area. All in all, I had a good day and after this it was time to make my way back home. Adam. Adam. Yeah, okay. Adam, take a bow. Hey. You know, Duncan, I want the same thing, but I want a bit of sex appeal. I want to see them hips shaking. Everybody, sexy Duncan, sexy Duncan, sexy Duncan, sexy Duncan, whatever you like. Sexy Duncan. Give him a round of applause. <laughs>